working. Well, I should note I'm very proud that our office here is led by a woman. Stand up. Um, so quotas are much discussed, and I know there's a lot of uh, going on in different countries in Europe about different quota systems. I think as an American, it's just not appropriate for me to go around telling everyone else what their public policy should be in this area. Um, I think quotas can be useful. They will never be the full solution to a problem. And we know that by looking at some other countries. So you look at Norway. Norway has quotas for women in parliament, quotas for women on boards, and they've been very successful getting women into parliament and getting women on boards. They're at 40% for both. How many women run Norway's big companies? 3%. So getting to 40% of boards, which was done by a quota and is a very positive thing, did not translate, or at least hasn't in a decade, into uh, women in the actual seats of operation. And so I think quotas can be useful. I think people have to make their own policies, but they'll never be sufficient. We have to attack the underlying stereotypes. The underlying stereotypes, which make all of us support and encourage and like men who lead and dislike women who lead. I'm going to try one thing. If you're a man here in the workplace, please raise your hand if anyone's ever told you you're too aggressive at work. Always a few. Here we go. <laughs> if you're a woman in the workplace, please raise your hand if anyone's ever told you you're too aggressive at work. Mm -hmm. And again, this is a young crowd. With apologies, it will happen. <laughs> Smile when it does. But that's what you see everywhere. Because leadership is something we expect and applaud in men, and something we dislike and discourage in women. And so, you know, we call little girls bossy. We rarely call little boys bossy because they're not bossy, they're leaders. There's no negative word associated with it. In almost every language in the world, there is a word or a phrase which is about telling little girls not to lead. So we have to change that too. Whatever public policy we've put in place, we also have to get people to embrace female leadership. So the next time you hear someone call a little girl bossy, you walk up to that, little, that parent person, say with a big smile, that little girl's not bossy. That little girl has executive leadership skills. <laughs>